What would you do ooh ooh for 19 Klondike bars? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Klondike bars, everybody's favorite chocolate covered, then foil covered, yes. and polar bear topped ice cream squares. You remember the first time you ever saw or had a Klondike bar? I do actually, my nanny had them in her freezer when I was a kid and I ate one, I was like, wow, this is ice cream that I can actually bite. Oh really, you can bite this ice cream? Cause I, I haven't been yeah. worried about it Yeah, cause it's because... Uh, cause of the covering. Oh, the covering. Yes. It's all about the covering. Well, it makes sense that you remember these from your childhood because they did gain nationwide popularity in the late 70s, early 80s. But did you know, Klondike bars have been around for almost a century. I didn't know that. I also had no idea that they've since gone way beyond just the classic chocolate covered mm -hmm. vanilla bar and they've expanded to all kinds of new flavors and completely different ice cream treats as well. Well, I can only imagine a rapid fire taste test of every single one will show us definitively how they managed to stay in business for so long. It's time for Gut Check, Klondike Bars Edition. All right, today we're gonna be tasting every single available Klondike ice cream product, 19 of them in total. Mm -hmm. in total. In total. Uh, we're gonna rank each one on a scale of one to 100 based on our initial gut reaction. Then our scores will be added together to give us the final four top rated Klondike products. And then we're gonna have those top four. We'll try them all once more to officially declare which one is the chosen frozen. And since I am practically a pro at scoring consistently it's now, very impressive. we gave away my yeah. third grade level visual aid on, over on the Mythical Society. Didn't need it. Uh, but then members of the crew came up to me and said, you know what, just to be safe. Yeah, I agree with this. Let's get you a new visual aid. I'm like, all right, whatever, whatever you guys want. So this time, I've got a new visual aid, uh, but it is at the college level. Well, it's in specifically sort of uh, advanced calculus. calculus. I mean, it looks like an origami bird. Is this gonna help but you? But this is freaking math. I mean, I don't know, good, terrible, not, okay. When Pierre de Fermont invented subtraction, it was incredibly important that he factor in the gravitational pull of Pluto. He didn't. That is why this line is pointing at the bottom of the graph. This is all BS, man. Link, if you are reading this aloud, please stop. I don't know anything. My college didn't even have a math class. Oh, ooh. Okay, uh, good luck with that. Okay, gentlemen, there will be a plethora of ice cream and chocolate swimming down your gullets, so you can cleanse your palates today between each round with some hot water to help my get rid of the sweetness. favorite beverage. How did you know? I and love hot water. I actually really do like hot water. Little lemon. Mm. But no lemon. Like hot water with nothing. There's well, no lemon. Well, that'll be fine paired with today's treats. The first category is bars, bars, the classic shape that you all know and love. And we'll begin with original vanilla bar. Mm, so cold. That's what I remember. That's solid. Mm -hmm. It's solid. Mm. It's not the best thing I've ever had. 76. <laughs> That's not gonna help you, man. It's pointed, both there's, good there's, and not good are both blue. There's numbers down here. Um, I'm gonna give that an 84. Okay, well. You like Double it. chocolate bar. Double, Double chocolate. chocolate. That's better because it's chocolate ice cream. Oh, me. that's what it was. I didn't even look at it, but I tasted mm -hmm. it. That's an 85. I'm gonna give that an 84. Dark chocolate bar. Not double? Uh, it's vanilla, I looked. It's vanilla, but it's got dark chocolate on the outside. Which actually, I like dark chocolate more in real life, but not in this situation. Yeah. 62. Uh, 60. Heath bar. Oh, really? Oh. Was it supposed to be toffee? There is a light toffiness to it, which I don't think you're gonna like at all. Oh, there it is in the aftertaste, 43. Um. I like it, nothing, nothing to get too excited about, 71. Reese's bar. For what? real? What? It's a peanut butter ice cream. That's good, but it's not everything that it promised to be in my mind. Yeah. Why don't you score it first? You know what, I agree, I'm gonna give it a 50. 
It's artificial flavor. Yeah, the, the the peanut butter doesn't is not doing it. The peanut butter doesn't always do it for us, guys. Fifty seven. Wow, crunch bar. Oh, okay. How are your teeth holding up? The shell is really helping. Have I got stuff on my beard? Yeah. Did you, did you see me look? There's a little something right. Yeah. I'm not getting any crunch from that. That tastes like a regular one to me. Thirty. I mean, I, it said crunch. I experienced zero crunch. Uh, so I, I didn't not like it, so I'm gonna give it a 73. Cookies and cream bar. Yeah, here we go, here we go. It's fun to bite into a Klondike. Mm. I like their slogan. What would you do for a Klondike bar? I'd probably break the law for one. Uh, I forget what that was. Cookies and cream, oh. I, that's pretty heavenly. That's subtle. Um, 60. 79. 68. Mint chocolate chip. Oh. All right. Oh, man. That's refreshing. Man. It almost tastes good for you. I really like that. Is that healthy? That's an 86 for me. Eh. I like mint chocolate. Yeah, I mean, it does work. I'm gonna go up here now. Uh, there's theta. The, there's letters, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is not I'm, helpful. I'm gonna give it an, a 61. No sugar added vanilla bar. This is gonna be great. Need sugar. Added. It's not bad. But, it, but it's not as bad as it could be. It tastes like snow cream. You go, snow cream, what's that? <laughs> Is this something you? Is this something you make? Yeah, you take ice. You take snow, and then you just add cream sugar cream. and some cream. But you do add sugar. I haven't been to your house when you made snow um, cream. I'm gonna give it a 49. Uh, it, I, it's not as good as I wanted to be. 44. No sugar added. Crunch bar. Why are we in this? No sugar added. Now this is a double disappointment for you because you hated crunch bar because it didn't give you a crunch. No, oh, I remember. I don't you remember what a, I gave it. You gave it a 30. Oh, thank you. Um, but this has no sugar, so it should be less than 30. Just, hey, don't, you don't need that chart, you need don't, me. Don't, don't tell me how to score. Give it a 21. 31. Uh, <laughs> 38. The no hey. sugars are not as bad as we're no, making them out to be. The, They're really they're, not. They just don't, can't compete with actual sugar. Yeah, but yeah, but the, not, if you don't want added sugar, it ain't that bad. That concludes the bars category. You may take sips of your delicious hot water. The thing and is, I took three years of this in college. Mm -hmm. You know, this is Stevie's favorite drink. And then a fourth year of another thing that was just as hard as calculus, and I made all A's. I was there with you, brother. In one ear, out the other. Don't though, remember like, a thing. I'm glad that I'm not devoting any energy to retaining this stuff. And up next, we have the sandwiches category, beginning with classic vanilla sandwich. Huh. I like an ice cream sandwich. Hmm. Soft. Comforting. Oh, the cookie taste on the end of that, the aftertaste, whoo! It just keeps getting 83. better. 83! 88, baby. Whoa, now! Cookies and cream sandwich. Oh my gracious. That one was a little dry. It's but weird. it's got the cookies and cream. It's got the cookie inside the cream and the cookie on the outside. I, I'm, I'm feeling that, but it's not as good to me. Uh, 74. I like 85. Mrs. Fields chocolate chip Mrs. cookies. Mrs. Fields got sandwich. in on this? Have you you gotta watch this? her. Miss Fields up in the Klondike. Huh, huh, huh. Something tastes fake about that. I think she's she's not getting enough oxygen up there in the Klondike. Yeah, she's lightheaded for sure when she was making these. Yeah, something's weird about that cookie cookie, 55. Um, I went all the way to 49, I'm sorry, missus. Ooh, dang. Choco Tacos. Oh, remember? I did not know this was in the Klondike world. Oh, no. There's a lot to experience. Many layers. Complex. And it's a taco. 76. 
I wanted to like this more. 74. Peanuts. And that concludes that category. Now we're on to the final category, which is cones. And first up, we have nuts for <laughs> vanilla. <laughs> nuts for vanilla. Okay, you want us uh, to bite a bite some of the cone too? Uh, yeah. Mm. I might be grabbing your hand a lot. You grabbing hands? That's the only way I could get pressure on the cone. That's against the rules. Okay. This I'm is gut check. You got to go hands free. All right. You're going to, have to really push it in my face. Oh. <laughs> um, that tasted burnt to me. It tasted way better than the Choco Taco. Really? Yes. What was it again? Nuts for vanilla. Uh, no. I, I give that 85. I'm going to give that um, 69, but not in a good way. Uh. Vanilla chillin'. I'm missing the nuts. I think the thing that you didn't like about the last one was the nuts because you said it tastes burnt. This tastes better to me. Well, 39. 87. <laughs> I, I miss the nuts. 39. Classic chocolate. Oh. You can't, what? I, I mean, I mean hey, that wasn't my fault. You're doing good. Yeah. That was I, my fault. I don't know what they're up to. Do it. That was, like, that was Michaela's fault, but I like, caught it. I'm gonna have to grab it, or you need to shove it in my face. It's like, <laughs> I don't tell you how to do your thing, you don't tell me how to do my thing, and it's great. That's the best one, 89. For me, I mean. Chocolate, that's nice. Um, seven, uh, 74. Double down chocolate. Double down? Double down? A double down. Too, too much chocolate. It's kind of all blending together to me now. 63. 7 0. Unicorn Dreamin'. Okay, this is a gimmick. Ugh. That's got some gelatin on it or something. That tastes awful. Oh. I wish I could undo that. What? What is that on top? I don't know. Something from the devil. Ugh. <laughs> Four. Man, is that a prank? <laughs> This is a prank one. Y'all made that. Five. <laughs> yeah. And that completes the cones category. You have now tasted all of the Klondike products. Your scores will now be tabulated so that you may more closely review the top four items and determine which is the best of the best. Before we finish this, uh, how about a quick gut check about the Mythical Kitchen channel? How are you feeling about it? I'm feeling great about it. Well, that's good. You know what? They also have a podcast, The Hot Dog is a Sandwich, where Josh and Nicole debate culinary quandaries airing every Wednesday wherever you get your podcasts. Also feeling pretty good about that. I'm glad we talk about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mythical Kitchen, check it out. Stevie. And then evaluate okay, your emotions. Guys. Where are we at here? According to you, the top four flavors of Klondike products in no particular order are Original Vanilla Bar, Classic Vanilla Sandwich, Classic Chocolate Cone, and Double Chocolate Bar. <laughs> okay. We've we've done it here. We're so kinda, the original made it to the end. That that feels good. Feels good about open that. Open that puppy up. I'm gonna open this puppy up. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful. You know experience. what? I'm gonna I'm gonna open up the double chocolate. I really like their slogan. What would you do for a Klondike? In this case, a bar. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my bite of the. Yeah. Let's start with that. There's your chocolate. Make a it's better weird. In the moment, the chocolate on chocolate felt like my preference. But now that I put them side by side, I feel like there's too much, there's too much going on with the chocolate on the chocolate. Too much chocolate. Yeah, you're right. You lose that balance. I, so we're, we're, we're kind of going backwards here. Okay, so. We think the original is better than the double chocolate. Well, what about the sandwich? Because it's basically, yeah, now the sandwich really comes into play. It's a little bit like, you know, it's the same sort of situation. It's vanilla with a chocolate coating, um, but it's a sandwich coating. It's a pillowy, pillowy cookie. It's so soft. I prefer an ice cream sandwich over this. And you know what's weird about it? It almost feels warm. Almost warm and pillowy. 
Yeah, like the cookie. Doesn't the cookie taste better than just a cho the chocolate coating? It does. It does. And I know that there's other ice cream sandwiches out there on the market, but I, mean, I dare any one. of them to be better than this one. Okay, I think so, this is the golden standard of ice cream sandwiches. So, so first of all, we just said that original is better than chocolate, and this is better than original, so we know that we're probably getting rid of the, the chocolate on top. Yeah, we already have. So and now we've just comes, gotten rid of that, too. Well, we know that it's not the top. So now it comes down to what's better between the sandwich and the cone. This is not going how I expected. Mm -mm. I've never even seen this. This is like something you give to astronauts. Classic chocolate. I like the, it's got a, it's got a nice Look at that. dome on top. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna keep this one intact for, for purposes. So here I am going off the other side. I love the complexity of that, man. Let me isolate a little of the ice cream. That is, that is so tasty. Now I will point this out. This is so tasty too. I know, it's tough. Because when you grab this thing and you start eating it, what happens is you start to get some, some of that soft, pillowy, warm cookie on your finger. But what about this, Link? And that is really great. Oh yeah, there's chocolate in the bottom. There's still a little bit left for you. Man, dude. They put chocolate in the bottom. They thought of everything. This is tough. So it's for so me. We're I, putting it, the original in number number three. If you're saying you think it's tough, to me, that that's good. I don't actually think that it's tough. To me, the complexity of this taste and the way the chocolate and the nuts and the chocolate syrup and the every the way this all comes together is the same reason that I love the drumstick. This is better than the original drumstick. To me, I think the cone takes the crown. I'm not going to argue with that. But only by a sliver. So I'm I'm putting this thing climbing the mountain, man. So there we go. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put this thing. It's gonna like. It's almost up there. You know, it's like. There we go. So the official, and this is unexpected. The official chosen frozen. The best thing you can get from Klondike is the classic chocolate Klondike cone. That's just for astronauts. Who knew? Congratulations, Klondike. You win no matter what. Not a sponsor. Always scares me. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Alex. And I'm Gillian. We're at Devil's Churn here in Oregon. We just got engaged, and it's time to spend the Wheel of Mythicality. Congratulations. I will say, I feel like these Wheel of Mythicality videos are people are getting closer and closer to danger. <laughs> Yeah, a yeah, lot no, of like, I'm on top of, of a mountain. Outdoors. I'm next to a wave that could kill me at any second. I love that people think about us when they're about to die. Yeah, that's awesome. I love to be somebody's last thought. Okay, uh, stay tuned for Good Mythical More. We're going to give our unadulterated opinions about different social etiquettes. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is going to land. Nicole says carnitas, corn salsa, hot salsa, cheese, black beans. No rice? No rice? No rice. Watching the carbs? No. Yeah, rice is just too much. What?